Today we'll look at how to create an adaptive mesh that will automatically refine for more accurate stress results. We'll begin creating a linear static solution of a link and we'll make sure that we ask for strain results in our output requests. This is required for our adaptive mesh. So next we'll put a lightning bolt element size mesh of a 10 element on our link. We'll deactivate our subcase and create a fixed translation constraint on the holes on one end of the link. And a tensile load on the holes on the other end. Next we'll go ahead and run our linear static solution. And because we requested strain results, oh and we also do want to keep open the solver monitor, that will be helpful later for our adaptive uh, mesh runs. What we can do in the analysis job monitor is check analysis quality and this will give us an indication of the accuracy of the stress that can be expected from our mesh. So here you can see our strain energy error is eight and a half percent and it's recommending that further mesh refinement is recommended. So here we'll take a look at the results. We can see our displacement results and we'll take a look at our elemental stress results. And in the locations where we have high stress gradients, we cannot expect good stress accuracy. So we would expect that we would want to refine the mesh in these areas where we're seeing high stress gradients. So to do this in an automatic fashion, what we can do is create an adaptive meta solution. To learn more about the various inputs in the dialog, if we hit F1 for context sensitive help, we can take a look at the definitions for all of the inputs for our adaptive mesh dialog. So here I'll take a 5% strain energy percentage. We'll select our linear static solution one that we had just solved earlier. And we also want to detect singularities automatically. I'll use the lightning bolt for it to automatically select a good radius of singularity. And then a max number of iterations. I'll set it three. So here we can go ahead and solve. It says that it's found results from our original solution. We can go ahead and use those for our first adaptive solution and here you can see it's refined the mesh and it's solving. And again we'll keep the uh, solver monitor open and it will automatically close it as part of the adaptive solution. And here you can see now our strain energy error is uh, under 4% and it's saying that the model has converged. So here you can see it's refined the mesh in the areas where it's seen those high stress gradients. So we can take a look at our displacement results and our elemental stress results. And here you can see from one element to the next, the gradient has been reduced. And as a result, our stress values that we can expect are more accurate. Now I did purposely put in a singularity here and you can see that there are still some high stress gradients in those areas where we have singularities because uh, we've asked it to ignore uh, those singularities as part of our adaptive solution. So what we'll do, we'll uh, go ahead and reset our mesh and we'll talk a little bit more about some of the controls that we have with our adaptive meshing.
specifically in the area of zones. We'll go ahead and create an adaptivity zone. We've got a, several to select from. One is a singularity zone. If we hadn't told it to automatically uh, remove singularities, we could specify singularity zones. Or we could specify a suppression zone, which would be an area we don't want to refine, or a refinement zone, which specifies only the area of the model that we'd like to refine the mesh on. So here, that's what I've done. I've selected a refinement zone. We'll go ahead and solve. And what you'll see is that it will only refine the mesh in the area that we selected on the zone and the faces and edges that we had selected. And here we're keeping the solver monitor open. Um, it will automatically close it if we've selected that. If we have not, we'll need to close the solution monitor for it to be able to progress to the next iteration. But here you can see the strain energy is below our threshold that we had set and the model is converged and you can see that the mesh has only been refined in the area that we had selected for our refinement zone. And here we can see our elemental stress results and that concludes the demonstration.